Welcome to Marshall Mindset, where we delve into some of the leading minds in business, martial arts, and academia to find out what truly makes success in any field of life. We are the fight coaches who will motivate and inspire you to level up your game, no matter how big or scary your goals may be. But I think if you really want to go into these deep levels, you have to find something that's gonna push you, really push you into these different zones. And I think the intensity is something that really, you know, helps a lot. Mm -hmm. If you find a martial art that's uh, extremely intense, very offensive. And I found that the offensive uh, arts are the best. Mm -hmm. uh, the ones that are defensive, maybe that's something you wanna start with. Uh, yeah. Maybe not. I would say, you know, go with the offensive right away. just learning to relax. I think it's so funny, we always talk about relax. My sister used to talk about relax. You know, you always hear some of the high level guys talk, relax, relax, relax. And I think as as you get better in your mo your movement and your time, right? That's the thing, it's that self-awareness that has to happen. Mm -hmm. You start to recognize, okay, this is the stride of my step. This is, this, this is the timing of my body. You recognize that timing between people and where you, how you develop that is, exactly i think the way mark put it and i love getting my guys to do the same thing is guess what go slow this really open-minded attitude which without even knowing it then i adopted too like yeah well i can be open to oh i should pick up that boxing book and take another look or what are those wrestlers doing over there hey i'm gonna go talk to that guy and this yeah, guy yeah um that to me is just yeah. the culture of open-mindedness which then gets lost because people then go, oh, well, what did he do? He did Wing Chun, I'm gonna go do Wing Chun. And then maybe they never look outside their room yeah. again. And like, uh-oh, problem. Uh, so yeah, I would say that would be the number one thing. First, I tell people you need to have the physical strength. It's, it's, it's only to your benefit to have the explosive power, the footwork, coordination. You need that, again, that's the other part of your engine. You could might believe you can do it, you know, but if you don't, if the wiring and the mechanics are not there, it's not going to happen. Yeah. As well as, uh, then you need full out, like real type of training, scenario-based training. 